is a little project I've been working on. It's a 8-bit computer. Um, only has 256 bytes of memory, and uh, basically it's a the PIC microcontroller. It's a PIC 18F4685. It's just basically interpreting skills and uh, opcodes and simulating, uh, you know, the old 8-bit toggling type of thing. I picked the uh, picked the PIC 18F4685 because it's got three 8-bit ports in it. I think it actually has four, but we're only using three of them. Made it much simpler to just output. The, uh, the information and input the information when you have a whole port. This way you're not dealing with pins on other ports to try and bring things in. Um, the front panel is pretty simple. Power switch, run LED, error LED, data bus LEDs, address bus, address switch or switches, uh, halt run, ex, uh, examine next, deposit next, examine and deposit. Um, right now I have it set up that uh, to do a light and uh, LED and switch test. If you turn the system on with it in run, it should hit it should go into the routine for checking the LEDs and the switches. Basically what it does is it lights up all the LEDs, shuts them off, and then as you uh, make switches, it'll turn on other LEDs. This isn't set up because obviously if it, this switch didn't work and you were in the run mode, it wouldn't go into this, and if it was in the halt mode, it would do something different. So it uh, just it goes and checks all the lights and the switches to make sure it works. Um, and then power off, you start it up in the halt mode, and it's ready to run. Um, it's a very simple uh, opcode setup right at the moment. I haven't added a ton of things in here. I'm still working on uh, different codes, but it's basically got a load X, load Y, store X, store Y, add X, add Y, halt, nope, and a command I threw in here, which is a halt and display command. Basically what it will do is, it, as you'll see down below, it will halt at a certain address and it will display the information. The regular halt command was just halting and it it was halting at the location that it was at and it wasn't displaying anything. So basically what this command does is we're going to store something in a different memory location. This will halt it at that memory location and display it. So I wrote a simple program in here. Uh, load x with the value uh, hex 5, load uh, add x uh, the hex value 6, store the result in memory location AA, and then here's the halt and display the memory location AA. I threw the uh, the codes over here so we'll go ahead and enter in the program um, one thing good about this is that uh, you know it's sitting at address 00 and the computer defaults to uh, all zeros through memory and all zeros happens to be the halt command so it just happens to wherever it goes if we were to run this right now do absolutely nothing the first command and it gets to at address 00 is a halt command so uh, first thing we want to do is in memory location 00 we want to put in one and how we do this is we flip this to 1 because the address is already correct here and we hit the deposit button. So now in address 00 we have the number 1 which is uh, equates to the load x command. Now instead of having to go in and hit the addresses as we go along and then have to load the data we have a, a deposit next button. So what we do is the next uh, the next command we're trying to load in is 05 so we throw in uh, the 5 and we hit deposit next and it automatically increments the address bus. Pretty simple, makes loading programs quicker, as quick as it can be with a toggle toggle type setup. Uh, next command we want to load is a 10, so we'll deposit next and that incremented and that threw it in there. Uh, we need a 6, deposit next, we need a 3, deposit next, we need an alpha alpha, uh, deposit next, we need an 80, deposit next, and we need alpha alpha again because we want to sit and watch it there. So now the program's toggled in. We can go back and take a look at it, reset these to zero, and if we do the exam, it goes to address that we had set on the toggle switches. We can throw in any address we want here and examine it. As I said, it's defaulted to all zero, so this address, whatever that happens to be, there's nothing there. So we'll set this up address to zero, zero. We'll examine it. And we have a 1, which is what our program wants. Now, as we have with the deposit next, we also have an exam next, which means that we can examine the next address without having to worry about what these are. Uh, 5, uh, 10, 6, 3, alpha, alpha, 80, alpha, alpha. Our program is toggled in correctly. So now, to get the program to run, we have to go back to address 0. If we were to hit the run button here, it's going to run from this address location.
pretty neat if you uh, want to store variables at the bottom of your program and you want to start it off somewhere else, but we want it to start at 0, 0. So we go to the exam, because what it's going to do is picking up the address here to show it to us. So now we're at address 0, 0, and we see that our uh, data bus is showing us our 1, which is what we want. Um, you'll notice the LEDs flicker and it seems like it's running slow. It's because I got a delay command in between each uh, opcode because I wanted to see what was going on. You know, it's pretty quick, but you know, if you're looking for a certain address and you're looking for a certain data, you can actually you can spot it with your eye if you know know what you're looking for, getting ready for it. So we'll run it. That was the program, and what we told it to do at the end was to halt and display address alpha alpha. So here's the address alpha alpha, and our number. This number should be five plus six, and it is eight. And three is eleven. Simple. The program added two numbers. Yippee. Um, we have the error light over here, and what this error light does is, let's just say that the uh, the numbers were too big, and it, there's an overflow or a, a carry, and I don't have it in here yet, but it's going to also be a negative number. Um, the error light will come on. Can certainly can certainly show you this real quick. Um, take it out of run mode. Go to halt. Um, examine address zero zero. Let's change these numbers to something much bigger. And here's something that's pretty cool that you can do. As you come across, you see that uh, we're at zero, 0, We can do the exam next, which is 1. This is the number that we're uh, loading into X. It's 5. Let's just say we found an error in our program at this address and we wanted to change it. It's simple enough. We just throw in the data that it should be instead of 5 and hit deposit. It will deposit it at the address as shown here. So we just loaded that with a C. Um, and then we can go and continue on with exam next. It's just going to increment. And that's our 10, which is our add X, exam next. Oh, let's, this is the 6. Let's make that a C again. And we don't hit the deposit next because it will take and do something you don't want it to do. We want it to, to deposit what we have toggled in here to this address. Deposit. So now that's a CC. We can continue on. Don't have to reset them if you didn't want to because we're just going to exam the next. Um, 03, alpha, alpha, 80, alpha, alpha. So now the program is going to add C, C, C0 to C0. Obviously, that's well over 256. So we should get an error. Um, re reset the bus, exam uh, address 00. Now when we go to run, we should get whatever we're going to get up here plus uh, the error. And there's our error. The error light comes on the second the addition happens. Um, it's not waiting for you to store the command. It's not waiting for you to display the command. The second it adds and realizes that there's a, a carry or a negative number that was introduced, the error light comes on. So, as the program halts once again at address AA, um, whatever C plus, uh, C0 plus C0, which equals uh, 180, one well, that worked, 1, 8, and 0. Um, this could be considered the ninth bit. I mean, it, it is a carry bit in the sense that, you know, you can only toggle in a, a 256 byte number or a 8 bit number here. So in theory in theory this you know this can give you that that address. Um, that's about it. It's uh, pretty neat at the moment. I'm kinda enjoying it. I'm just gonna add more opcodes here. Like I say the list is pretty short at the moment. We're gonna add some uh, some you know some ands and nots and other stuff like that. And uh, it does have uh, I left the uh, the serial port on the, the pick open. It's uh, the RS2 RS232 TTL port is open. Um, I may or may not try to implement that as getting stuff out and getting stuff in. I mean, with 256 bytes, we're pretty limited, or I'm pretty limited on uh, what we can do with it. Uh, there's not a lot of room to start loading huge programs, and toggling them in is kind of fun. I mean, I'm sure it'll get old later. But uh, I left it open so that if we want, if I want to incorporate it later, I'll uh, attempt to do it. And it's not going to be mapped to a memory location. It'll probably be a command like the hold display command is. Um, with 256 bytes, you know, I don't want to start taking up too many memory locations with, uh, with, <coughs> excuse me, with, uh, you know, things like that. Um, I may, who knows, it might be, might be simpler to implement that than it is the other way around, but we'll see. Um, hope you enjoyed.